Hi friends. I have a new story for you this week. It's week seven of our journey with Jesus. And as you know, Jesus is God's son. He was born in a manger. He was in a stable actually and laid in a manger. We talked about that a little bit earlier. Then he grew up and when he was 30, he was baptized and remember he was um, in a desert for 40 days and 40 nights and tempted by Satan and then he began his ministry. So this story is called The Legend of the Sand Dollar and I don't know if you've ever seen a sand dollar before but this is a sand dollar. My mom and dad used to go to Hilton Head and they would bring back sand dollars for us that they found on the beach. And if you notice that sand dollar has a, it looks like a flower in the middle. Do you see that? Um, there's a legend of this sand dollar that I'm going to share with you that shares the Easter story. So let's get into our book. Why can't mom and dad take us to the beach? Carrie sniffled. It's only two days, whispered Margaret, and they'll come get us on Easter morning. Carrie tried not to cry. Every few years, her family went to Aunt Jane's house near the beach. I'll just think about playing with Cousin Jack, she told herself. I'll just think about the ocean. But her tears still fell as the bus took her farther and farther away from her mother and dad. Early the next morning at Aunt Jane's, Carrie went out to look at the boats on the river. Carrie still missed her parents, but soon she heard a put, 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 put of an engine coming towards her from upstream. <gasps> Cousin Jack! Carrie, Jack hollered, what do you think about my new boat? It's not very big, she yelled back. Then it's perfect for you. He took her hand as she climbed on board. The river opened to the wide bay. Hang on, Jack yelled. Suddenly the ocean lay before them as broad as the sky. A small island appeared in the distance. Waves lapped against the shore as Jack beached the boat. What's this? Carrie called out, holding a round object. That's a sand dollar, Jack answered. A sand dollar? Carrie cried, this isn't money, right, said Jack. It's a starfish that used to live in the ocean. How did they get here? Carrie asked. When the tide goes out, it leaves sand dollars behind, Jack said. Why are they called sand dollars, she asked. Real dollars used to be round, said Jack, and they were made of silver. But sand dollars have value too. Then I guess we're rich, Carrie teased. In a way, he answered, the sand dollar tells a story, the greatest story of all. Can you see the Easter lily on the side? It's like a trumpet saying, Jesus is alive. Now, look in the mil middle of the lily. There's the star from the east that, laid, that led wise men to Christ. We remember Jesus' birth on this side too. See the Christmas flower? Both sides of the sand dollar tell the Easter story. See the four nail holes and the fifth hole made by a spear. These remind us that Jesus died for us. Now, hold out your hand and watch very carefully. He broke open one of the sand dollars and five white shapes fluttered down. 
see the doves? This is the new life, the promise of Easter. As Jesus lives again, so can we. And these doves remind us to spread his promise and his hope to all people. Do you remember the story we had earlier about when Jesus was baptized and how God came out like a dove to tell everyone that this was his son? Oh no, Carrie cried, we dropped them. Jack wasn't worried. The high tide will bring more over and over. I have a whole bucket full at home. As the tide rushed ashore again, Jack helped Carrie back into the boat and pushed it off the beach and jumped inside. The boat crested the top of each wave, hung in the air, and then swooped down like a ride on a roller coaster. But all the way back, Carrie could only think about the sand dollar and how valuable it really was. That night, the moon rose full across the water. You know what? asked Jack. Your parents aren't that far away. Like the moon and the tide. But the moon is far away from the ocean. They're still connected, Jack explained. The moon's gravity is what pulls the tide high. From, the, from that far away? That's how the tide works. Like how God can remind us that he is close too, whispered Carrie, thinking of the sand dollar. The next morning, Carrie put a sand dollar into her sister's hand. Happy Easter, Margaret, she said. Thanks, Carrie. Carrie smiled and said, do you see the Easter lily? An Easter lily? Yeah, inside. There are little doves. I'll tell you the whole story. As they waited for their parents, Carrie shared the good news with her sister. Soon, Margaret smiled too. Now here's a poem that was written by an unknown author. I'm gonna read it to you. There's a pretty little legend that I would like to tell of the birth and death of Jesus found in this lowly shell. If you examine closely, you'll see that you find here four nail holes and a fifth one made by the Roman's spear. On one side, the Easter lily, its center is the star that appeared unto the shepherds and led them from afar. The Christmas poinsettia, etched on the other side, reminds us of his birthday, our happy Christmas tide. Now, break the center open, and here you will release the five doves awaiting to spread open, spread, or spread goodwill and peace. This simple little symbol Christ left for you and me to help us spread his gospel through all eternity. I'm gonna show you a picture of when I opened. Now, I see in that picture there's only four, but you know what? I actually did have five doves. Aren't those cool? That's what came out of that. So now you know the legend of the sand dollar. What a great thing to share with others, to know that Jesus died for our sins and that he lives again and that he is our savior. It provides us hope, doesn't it? Have a great day, friends.